Okay, we're recording. This is a salutation to to part three of pest, pest Control with the Bastard Smalls. To uh, cut ahead a bit, the Smalls have managed to hire a boat. A flat boat, a flatbed, a swamp skimmer of sort. With uh, no necessary oars. You do have some oars, but you also have some poles to push you across the across the surface. Only this time they're into a bathtub floating behind you. A very cool uh, owl riding it. I can feel right that it's not a bathtub. We could use meat shield. Sorry about that little glitch with my internet. It does it once a day. Oh no. <laughs> Had to time it now. And we're recording. Okay, so we got a boat. We got a boat. That's we're right. on a we're on a mother effing boat. But no bathtub. Yep. You are traveling towards the ruins. What sort of ruins are they? You know, you haven't reached them yet. But to, uh, yeah, really to cut, cut things much shorter in this case of. It takes about half a day to reach the ruins. But then it's. The joke to party in that at all to begin with, so it's when you push over the poles, you're not really getting much leverage. So it does take a while, and you finally do reach the place. The ruins. The ruins for anyone who does study into ancient history, they they should be familiar with them because in case of they're all over the place, remnants of the previous, previous. I mean, that were, I am proficient in history. Of course, that's where I fucking get in that twenty. <laughs> it dates back to the times before the catastrophe. These are. Old, really old, impossibly old. I know the fish. I know the fisherman I was talking to said some kind of historian was over here, but he didn't find much. Old is impossibly old. Before the isles were shattered. Magpie is like, there was a time before the Isles were like this? Like I said, impossibly old. How did it survive? I don't know. Perhaps we should find out. Be very careful. This thing is sneaky and swallows you whole. Light gives way to lesser light as afternoon goes to evening. The stars kick comes out and how you would expect the sound of frogs, frogs, insects, any kind of life, but it's quiet, way too quiet. Something is wrong. Don't make much sound. It's then, for those who have been here before, they hear some familiar yelling. The splashing in of heavy footfalls into shallow water. For those who look in the direction, they spot running along a 
a shadow bank. What are those turtle people? Who appears to be full, full, full force of running from something. It's a good I have a sign. feeling we should be heading in the same direction as Turtle. I think that whatever's causing the problems here, it's precisely what they are running from. And it might be the remnant of a past age. Then certainly. Or it could be or it could be old man Jenkins trying to frighten off children. I'm not sure which. It's probably one of those two. Let us hope for latter. Would latter be able to scare those turtle folk? Never seen anything like them before. The tortoise folk suddenly stops as he's snagged on something. Gaze a terrified cry and suddenly there's a loud splash as he's yanked into the water. A flurry of bubbles and top turbulent water rot. And then it stops. I'm still not ruling out old man Jenkins trying to frighten off children. <laughs> and the water Bam. and the water turns purple. Oh no. By the way, um I should mention this. Uh Magpie is using her bow, Whisper, to telepathically talk to everyone so as not to make a lot of noise. It's something she can natural it's something she can do with that bow. So she she's kind of she's kind of looking at this as like okay that that's it probably bit through a turtle shell that that's not a good sign. And then erupts out of the water, a large form, huge, dominating, bearing five necks, each ended with a head, veins with frills. The long snouts bearing long teeth. It looks it looks like he's been cut from the sky and put on the ground below, given life. And and what are the mouths? It just crunches it away, you can hear the the crack of bones. And then, the creature looks around, looking into the distance, each head looking in a different direction. It casually glances over your direction, pauses for a moment, stares, and then with a heavy splash it sinks into the water again. Uh oh. And you can see the tide it kicks up as it moves. Not towards you, but towards where the ancient ruins lie, or where you suspect it to be. I might know what this is, and, um... Oh boy. Um... <laughs> Yuki? Doesn't that look like a Hydra version of Magnificence? It's starting to look that way, yeah. Wait. It wasn't what I thought it was, so anyway. This this is very bad. This is very bad. I didn't know he had a cousin. I don't think he knew he had a cousin. What do you know about this? I, I know that whatever it is, we've been hired to stop it. The question is how? That thing ain't gonna be easy to fight. Take well, if, because if all else open. fails, use fire. Yeah, We're in uh, swamp. I don't know how much fire would help. I wonder if it knows we're here. 
It was looking in our direction, wasn't it? Yeah, One of its heads, it, anyway. It didn't go toward us, though. It did just eat. You saw how big that thing is. I don't think one turtle's going to satisfy it. Magpie is, like, protectively uh, holding Kikwa a little bit because she's just like, oh, fuck, this is not going to be fun. Kikwa, you're about to meet something from the void. Great. Yeah, this, this looks fun. Shifros puts up his cloak of invisibility. I am going to check something, because... I, I, I have no idea if that thing has true sight or not. I have a bad feeling it does, but I have no fucking clue. Look, it, it gives me peace of mind. Whether or not it actually does anything, I have peace of mind. Let's see. Uh, no, she's... No, she not. Oh my god, it got a refill. It didn't. It had 10 originally. Oh, did it? Damn. 7 is how much I had left. Actually, let me just check. I thought that we oh, had five left. Oh, correct. I, I am corrected by my own record. It is only five beans left. Well, throw. <laughs> Just eat them all and run. <laughs> <laughs> then we really get the mummy lords. Mummy lords. <laughs> <laughs> Hydra can deal with them. We're gone. So, uh, I've been dreaming of getting the Mummy Lord this entire campaign. What's this it? would be a very bad time to get the Mummy Lord. Yeah. What's the plan? We need solid ground. Yeah, we probably have to fall it in. It looks like it's trying to protect the ruins, almost. Maybe I should go in first along with Sai since we speak Draconic. Maybe we can reason with it. You mean like we reasoned with Magnificence? Maybe this one's different. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to try and talk. Wood, and I'm just a little worried about how it's gonna go. Kikwa thinks for a second and then just kind of rummages about in her pockets before she produces a little bag. Of where things. did where did you get that? Just big shrug and then a little wink. Oh, this is gonna be funny. That could come in handy, depending on what it comes up with. Well, what does it do? It's a bag of magic beans that does random stuff. We're not even sure what dictates what it does. She thinks for a second. Peers into the it peers into the bag, counts the beans. What would you think is the best course of action for these things? Usually when we have no other idea on what to do, we just ye we throw one of those damn things and see what happens. You have to I mean, plant it. I mean, you could hypothetically try to plant it in the monster, but only an idiot would try to do that. Light the How did with you those guess that's what head. happened at one point? Wait, what? That's how Groot was born. Elkasa or El Puni Diablo shoved a bean down uh, Stubby's throat. You're saying words 
And I don't understand what two thirds of them mean. <laughs> Do you remember Stubby at all? I'm trying to remember if I ever met Stubby. Did this Stubby survive when you did that? No, no he did not. No, not even close. <laughs> People think. You you have a very hard time surviving when a treant literally grows out of your intestinal tract. Th this is why Raven hates throwing boss fights at me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Give us a perception roll, please. Everyone. All of us. Yep. Okay. Sixteen. Twenty-seven. Unnatural twenty. Uh, thirteen. Twenty-three. Suno and Kula are to engage the conversation to notice, but everyone else notices that there's a wake in the water, moving towards the boat. Uh, okay. I think we need to go Guys, now. We have incoming. Oh boy! Sai readies his sword. How close are we to solid land? Oh, you can get to solid land in about a, about one turn. Let's, Let's get, get to solid the... land. Yeah, Let's get to I... land. Yeah, we're no problem with that. <laughs> Magpie's like, Key Claw, do you need some help or can you get on your own? I think I got it. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, she can fly. <laughs> <laughs> Magpie didn't realize this until she probably just thought it. Like, oh, never mind then, you're fine. <laughs> Let's just say, for whatever plans you've got, going with they work to a point where you get the the flat boat to the edge of the land and then there's the and just at the edge of it flipping it over and launching the rest of you onto the land as this five-headed monstrosity launches itself out of the water and lands with both front of his feet heavily onto the bank. Its eyes peering as it snarls aloud. And you can see its eyes as he give off a faint, faint glimmer in the darkness as his skin twinkles like the stars in the night sky. Well for initiative. Well. <laughs> Okay. Oh gosh, sorry. Uh, 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 initiative is twenty plus your initiative modifier. Yep. Yep. <laughs> That's a twenty-one. Okay. Yeah, this is one of those things you want to type out just to yeah make it easier to keep track of later. Yep, 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 yep. Shuno, what's, uh, what, and... Shuno, what's your uh, agency mod? Uh, my dex mod dex. is dex. plus five. You actually go before Magpie. Hers is only plus four. Yep. Alrighty. Two. So it would be Psy, Magpie, Shafras, Kikwa, Yuki. And wherever that dragon is. Or Hydra. Yep. Hail Hydra. 
Hail Hydra. Uh, I ain't hailing that damn Hydra. <laughs> See, from the description, I thought this was going to be a frog hemoth. <laughs> okay, so... Psy... is going to do Booming Blade, so... First attack. So, Booming Blade, my attack is uh, 20, 25. I can do math. That's a hit. Okay. So, that will do. So that's 22 damage, and if he m moves willingly five feet away from five feet or more, he will take more damage. And then I am going to use my second attack. That is a 23 to hit. That's a hit. And that does another 16 damage. Okie dokie. In the course of your attacks, you explode one of his heads. Hey. Oh, good. And uh, you end in your turn? That is the end of my turn, yes. It will use its legendary action to make an a multi attack against Simino. Oh, shit. Again, wisdom of eight. No survival instinct. We don't really have a choice. <laughs> Just be glad he killed one of his heads. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Okay, that's a 22. That is a hit. That's an 8. Uh, was that eight to hit or eight damage? That's it was eight damage. Eight, eight to hit. Oh, eight to uh, hit doesn't hit. Actually, no, that's a ten to hit. That still doesn't hit. That's uh, fifteen to hit. Nope. Oh, that's uh, twenty-three to hit. That does hit. And it does a grand total against you. Thirty points of piercing damage. No. <laughs> As two of his heads just jump down on you. That's gonna leave a mark. Way is the Hydra from the party? Because uh, in how the party fell, it's on the edge of the bank. So imagine the party's fell, someone is sort of semicircle around it. It's close enough to bite at Cyrano. It's Cyrano did dive into it, pretty much. It's got, for a bite attack, it's got a reach of 10 foot. Okay. So we're 10 to something feet away. That's a bit of a... Okay. There's an obvious reason I'm asking. Okay. Um, Magpie mm -hmm. backs up, hopefully out of range of the heads a little bit. And her... Is it my turn? Yes, it I is. think it should be, yeah. Okay, I wasn't sure. I just realized. Okay, she backs up a little bit um, to try to get out of range of the heads while Cyrano's attacking it. 
And first, Hunter's Mark. Ready? Do I have to target a specific head, or is it just the whole Hydra? It's a whole Hydra. Okay, it's a whole Hydra. Just double checking. Um, first attack. Fifteen. That's a miss. Okay. Second attack. Nineteen. That's a hit. Okay. Nine plus four, so that is 13. 13 damage. Yep. And her final attack, because her first round, she always gets three hits. Oops. 24. That's a hit. Oh. Seven plus Hunter's Mark. Plus the D eight two, so thirteen damage again. One moment. Okie dokie. Time for Simino. Yeah, for uh, Chief Foss. Hey, first, I'm going to move as far away as I can while still being on dry land. Or, well, you know, solid land. So I doubt any land around here is dry. Then I'm going to turn around and cast Synaptic Static. Well, that sounds delightful. I will paste this just to keep it. And I am going to cast this far enough away from Cyrano that he doesn't get blasted with it. Oh boy. Yep. Let's see. So it needs to make an intelligent saving throw against a 17. Yeah, that's a fail. So it takes first 40 psychic damage, as in 4 0. Yeah. And for the next minute, every time it does an attack roll or ability check, it must roll a dice six and subtract that number from its from the from the uh, roll. At the end of each of its turns, it can make an intelligent saving throw to try to rid this condition. Bloody hell! This is a fifth level spell, folks. <laughs> <laughs> this is why casters make fun of marshals. <laughs> and then, as a bonus action. Giving the old "you can do it" to Cyrano. I can do it. <laughs> that is something we need to actually work on around here. We need to actually get music playing through these through these calls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just kind of pick and choose my own, to be honest. When it comes to tabletop, I just go through YouTube. I'm like, okay, what kind of vibe are we finding here? I mean, granted, if you let me do it, it would be mostly Octopath Traveler and Octopath Traveler 2 soundtracks, but you know. Same, honestly, really. Honestly, that tracks. And honestly, it would fit very well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I'm going to take this back. I'm basically losing one head per turn, which I imagine is per person's turn. For this is a full round. round. So it's a case it has lost two heads so far. Hmm. And keep in mind, I did say I moved as far away as possible. So if if it it targets me and can't see me, it's gonna find me again. Yeah. Is is keep quick turn? Yep. <laughs> okay. Um, Kikoa being faced with having to try and take down this monster, her demeanor changes. She gets very serious. Um, she's going to try and do something very bold. But before that, I had a very quick question. So it looks like I have a level, mm, level 13 thing going on. Arcane trickster feature. Um, superior mobility. Uh, At nine. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. It's. I bet you include all the features of your subclass and into your thing. So, in case if it's all there, but you still. Oh, sorry. sorry still only it's running a... from ten and below. Ah, ten and below. It's just right. there for convenience' sake. Later. It's just how those okay. uh, seats are made. Okay, doke. I then I will just ignore that then. Okay. Um. She's still going to do something very bold. She is going to uh, stretch out her wings. And, well, she's going to be, she's going to fly up and try to dive bomb one of the heads. Like, like get on top of it, dagger in hand. Sort of, she, she's sort of going to dive bomb it and, and attempt to stick her dagger into the head and ride it like a bull. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> we we have found the Okasan substitute. For, for... We found the Sir Gregor. <laughs> we found the Leroy Jenkins. I'm a bad feeling. <laughs> Look, let's face it. If if El Pudin Diablo was here, this is precisely what he'd be doing. Okay. Oh, Crandall. <laughs> Yeah. Or Crandall, yes. To be fair, Kiko has the slight advantage of she can actually fly. And there's also Crandall superior milk. Can glide. <laughs> okay, um what what am I rolling to attempt this? Is it gonna be like a dexterity thing or it's just gonna be straight up attack with your dagger. And... That does sound kind of like a grapple. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, go for go for grapple, which will be oh god, I've seen your stats. That's gonna be a strength test. I don't think you can actually put a grapple condition on the thing, but I think you can latch on to it. So I don't think you're big enough to physically keep it from actually moving just because you're on it. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, she she's not gonna be keeping trying to keep it from moving. She's just going to sort of attach herself somewhere where she stays put. Stabbing a dagger into it, of course. So, uh, am I rolling for dagger or, or strength? Or Sorry. Uh, roll for... If you're going for the dagger, roll for make an attack roll with the dagger. Okay, so... And... So, 1d4 plus 5. Well, you gotta roll the hit first. Yeah. That's true. So, just 1d4 or... Uh, you roll a die 20 and add your attack bonus. Okie doke. So let's roll this here. And then attack bonus is 9. Uh, I'm only assuming 25 is a hit. Uh, that's a hit. And then I roll for attack damage, which is 1d4 plus 5. Yep. That is a 6. <laughs> That's a mere six damage. Pew. I mean, it's a dagger. I don't assume it's going to do much. I mean, it's better than no damage. I know, mm -hmm. right? Uh, 
Okay, bird, now, now bird it's... Dive bomb. <laughs> it's now... It's the Hydra's turn. Oh, boy. First of all, it's just going to try to shake you off, so it's going to be contested strength roll. And because you know, I've seen your strength roll, I think I have the advantage here. And when it does the strength roll, it has to take the die six and subtract. Okay, I rolled a 15. So, uh, Kikra? Yes. Strength roll. Strength? It's a, save, yep. a strength saving roll. Did you subtract hey. the die six on the, that 15? I did. Okay. Okay, since I don't, I have zero points in saving throw, it's just a flat 20. Yep, it is just a flat 20. That's a seven. <laughs> you are thrown off. Your dagger's still stuck in the Hydra, but, uh, but you are, you lose your grip on, on the dagger. But it is not strong enough. Do, do not remove that dagger, by the way. Oh! No! Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> also, while Kreekrat yeah, has just been thrown off, the other two heads are now going to attack her. Oh, fun. Okay, first attack is... Do, 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 25? And it's going to be... I. I updated your sheet. I know that hits. Oh boy. Can I use uncanny dodge to half the attack damage? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and remember it does it does uh subtract D six from those attack rolls too. That's true. So so that was a twenty five how much damage is Kigwa taking <sighs> with the have and the Because of the disadvantage that becomes an eighteen. It's not disadvantage. It's just you literally roll a die six and subtract oh, the number from the roll. Oh, that. God damn it. So, what it actually was. That's actually 24. So, uh, you half the attack of 15. So, that was 24, so. It, 24 to hit you. 24 to okay. hit. And it's now 15 Did... damage. 15 piercing damage. Okay, 15 piercing. Is that the half, or do I still have to half that? That's you can half. Okay. So, and then you half it and round down to seven. Okay, okay. Now for the other half. You always round down. And the other attack. Okay, roll to d6. Did you know? My my hit points are sixty nine. Nice. nice. <laughs> okay, that becomes. You have the same hit points I do, huh? This is after taking the first batter damage. Oh, well, I know you. Yeah, we both have seventy six max hit points. Okay, that's twenty to hit. Ah <laughs> oh, boy. And that is a full fifteen damage to you. Ah, uh, I can't use uncanny dodge again. Nope. Nope. Okay, sorry. How how much am I, am I taking again? You took a full fifteen yeah. for the second attack. Fifteen. Oof. So that's thirty altogether. No, it's twenty-two altogether. Oh, okay. However, uh, at the end of the Hydra's turn, it now regro regrows two heads for every one of its lost. Heck. So it now got, it now has seven heads. I was afraid of that yet. Well, I know what spell I'm breaking out a lot of. You also note that the original heads had the more thrilled going back, back against the head. These new heads are starting to develop horns that look like the moving into a more of a halo type shape. Eh. 
<laughs> like this. And now it's Yuki's turn. Okay. Well, seeing all that's been going on, she runs over to Kikwa and casts Cure Wounds. Let's see. All right. So that should be 11 back. Okay, Kika regains 11 health. Yep. Kika does? Yes. Yes. And also for an extra bardic inspiration, also on uh, on Kikwa. Yeah. So I forget I forget how bardic inspiration works. That that's like a is that advantage or like a? It's uh, you plus? have an extra die tin that you're kind of holding for any okay. time, and yep. if you roll an ability check, attack roll, or saving throw, and it doesn't hit. You can roll the die 10 to add that number to it. Okay. Well, actually, you don't know whether it hits or not, but if you can kind of figure out whether it hits or not... Then I can use it, yeah. Yeah. Let's paste that just so you can actually read the text that comes with it. Okay. Oh, I can wait until after it rolls the d20 before just Yeah, you can roll the die 20 and see, huh, that's not a good roll. But you have to do it before the DM says whether it succeeds or fails. Okay, that's the caveat. Okay. Yeah. You can do it after you roll the die 20 and it's like, huh, that's a 1. That's not going to hit anyway. I'm not wasting it on that. Or that's an 11. Kind of iffy. I think I'll go ahead and roll the die. You know, things like that. So. Okie dokie. Because I remember using this for before with uh, a different game I was playing, but I couldn't remember what it exactly did. Thank you. Oh, okay. But... And it is a die 10 since we are at level 10 bards here. Ooh. Yep. We are now top of the round. So we're back to <clears throat> Sue, you know. Which also means the Hydra gets his legendary actions back. Well, there, there's one thing I know that most Hydra don't like. So it's time to... It's time for Jazz Hands, everybody! I am going to uh, upcast Burning Hands at level 2. So you need to make a dex saving throw against a spell save of 15. Uh, because I still have that deduct. Well, I failed that. Okay, one. God damn it. <laughs> Ten fire damage. That was kind of embarrassing, honestly. Oh, no. But, but the importance is, it was fire. The Hydra shrieks out as uh, flames touch its uh, night sky scales. And we're going for the legendary accent's multi-attack response. And since it attacks with every head, that's seven attacks right at you. First attack. 
deduction. Oh god, uh, shit. That is 15. Nope. First attack down, second attack. That's a miss. <laughs> you basically managed to power you, power you to side as it comes back jumping down. <laughs> Seven before deduct seventeen before deductions. Nope. That now becomes becomes a uh, twelve. Then go for the plus eight to hit. Becomes twenty. Oh, with plus eight to hit, then yeah, that would hit. That's fifteen damage. Okay. I'm giving you full working out here. We go for the fourth attack. Mm -hmm. That's not going to hit. <clears throat> Be more attacks. Attack five. That's a 19. Is a match a hit or is it a miss? Uh, match a match is a hit. Okay, then. And I'm being honest here, I'm just basically going for average attacks here. So that's another 15 damage. Sorry, you cut out a little bit, but did you say 15 again? 15 again. Okay. I'm going for average attacks here. Average, average damage. Six attack. Twenty-two. That definitely hits. Another 15. Okay. Final attack. Okay, that's that. Deduction. 17. Nope. And that's the attack's over with. And now it's Max Pie's turn. Okay, Magpie doesn't have fire, but she does have her arrows, and is currently freaking out a little bit, but fire one, 21, that's a hit, Thirteen plus two. That's fifty. Okay. Second attack. Twenty-three. That's a hit. Seven plus five. So thirteen. So 13 total for the next one, and she's keeping as far away from that thing as possible. Okay, it's so now down to six heads. Cool. As one of the heads just, uh, just hits the floor with an owl sticking out of his eye. Lovely. I just have as much of its tongue out, like that. It's quick last turn. Okay. Kiko's gonna try and get her dagger back. Is it Kikwa? Wait, is I it? I thought Kikwa? Shifros oh, went. Oh yeah, Shifros. Oh, Shifros does go. My yeah. apologies, Shifros is goes before. So I think I tip my hand on what I'm doing this turn. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Heat metal. Just in case you need to see it. Hot damn it. Daddy. And it is getting upcasted to fourth level. Oh, hell. Which means four die eight fire damage. 
And I would say you get the constitution saving throw, but you're not exactly holding... The Hydra isn't holding the thing, so it doesn't really matter about this constitution saving throw. No, because it's stuck in there. Yep. So that is... 24 fire damage. And now it has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. <laughs> you can see the metal burning bright red, even though the head is... As you know, it's not necessarily the same head, in case of the... The uh, six heads give a... U Unified scream. Now the downsides I, downside is I have to keep concentration on this spell, but the plus side is I get to reapply that damage every turn. With my bonus action. So with this bonus action, because I don't need to use it there, I'm going to go ahead and give a dose of bardic inspiration to Yuki. Oh boy! And then I'm going to move 30... I'm going to move another 30 feet to a spot I haven't occupied yet. And that's my turn. Now it's Quick Cross turn. So, Kiko was originally planning on trying to get her dagger back, but after seeing this display, she has given up on the idea. Uh, <laughs> you, can, you can get it back after the fight. Yes. <laughs> Instead, I think Kiko was going to weigh her options to go... Okay, screw it, and pulls out the short bow. She is going to aim for one of the new Hydra heads and let her rip. Okay, okay. All righty. Uh... So we roll a d20. Yep. Plus attack bonus. That is a solid 20 with the attack bonus. That's a hit. Heck yeah. Okay, then damage type. So 1d6 plus 5. That's a 7. 7 damage. <laughs> Little arrow go... What a... Does hurt. Yep. And the Hydra is speaking its throwing its heads around. It, you, you're hurting this thing. I mean, we literally have a dagger on fire in its head. We've lit it on fire. We've hit it with everything we have. Yeah, we're hurting this thing. <laughs> it hurts more. We've given it the massive heads ache. Yep. <laughs> Where it's migraines. Okay, so now the Hydra's turn. And you see it basically focusing its attention onto Simino. Because basically you're the nearest target. As you see its chest a bulgy as it inhales and it starts to glow a strange sil silvery blue that spreads up up its new numerous necks and finally the hydra bellows out numerous numerous flares from his mouth just to bathe it bathe Cyrano in its uh stellar flare breath what? Now, give us a give us dexterity. And just out of curiosity, that is a monster ability and not a spell, right? Yes. Okay. Give us a dexterity save, please. And oh. you have you have bardic inspiration if you need it. I do. <laughs> and actually. Let's see here. How does this work? Okay, so I got eight on that saving throw, but I have Indomitable, 
So I can re-roll that saving throw. I don't get the inspiration for it. Because I burned that. That's a six. That's worse. Okay. Tell me, what have I won? Okay, you are going to take... Fourteen fire damage. Fourteen fire damage. And that's only half of it. Okay. And twelve radiant damage. Sai is still standing. I was gonna he's say not that happy been about so it. So much worse. He's he's not happy about it, but he's still standing. Honestly, the best I can get out of that breath attack is is uh, twelve, uh, eighteen for each damage type, so thirty six total. You came close. <laughs> have that ring from the yellow sign mission? Sai was there for that, wasn't he? Yeah. yeah that's what I'm asking. So he should, yeah. Sure. And now it's Yuki's turn. Mm -hmm. well, that's not looking good. So, Yuki's still close to Kikwa, so she turns to her and it's like, can I get one of those beans? <laughs> I don't see why not. Thank you. About how big is this? Uh, is this dragon bigger than 20 foot in any dimension? The Hydra is classified huge. So always a good chance it is. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so Yuki holds that bean. She's going to cast Dimension Door right in front and shove it down one of the neck, one of the whole, one of the uh, mouths. <laughs> <sighs> I'm seeing Raven's face. How did you not know this was coming, Raven? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Roll me what you've just summoned. All right, what do I have to use for that? Just a d20? A uh, percentile dice, actually. You need a die 100. I do not have one of those. So. Oh, two so die it's... ten. Two die ten. Two and die ten. Okay. One of them's a ten, and one of them's the ones. Okay. I think these are the tens. No, I think it's not. It's See, one of the one of your die tens should actually look should actually have like it should actually look like tens. Ten, twenty, hey, thirty, forty. Okay. Okay, I think I got them. You got them? Yeah. Okay. Let's oh, see. Uh, oh my God. That would be a 64, looks like. Oh, I you know got this the one. Oh, you we got no. the bullet <laughs> inside the Hydra. <laughs> you know what? That's better than Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a bit of a gesture now. <laughs> Have you ever seen the movie Alien? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Raven, what happened? <laughs> the Hydra is struggling. He's kicking his legs, he's rushing around, it rolls onto his back. And as Sirot puts it, a bullet bursts out of his chest. It's launched up into the air and lands into the water. It discovers that it can't swim, and probably five minutes later, drowns! <laughs> Gosh. Is the Hydra dead? <laughs> 
I've already said he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> but no pit bullet for us this time either. We we don't get Snoopy Junior Junior Junior. <laughs> Magpie is just looking at this like, well, that happened. Kikwa just like wide-eyed, slowly turns and looks up to Kikwa, uh, uh, up to Magpie, and goes, "Is that what those beans do? Should I be concerned? As long as you don't plant them, they don't do anything. As long as you don't eat them, you don't have stuff like that happens. And I'm not even sure we've seen the full effect of those damn things." <laughs> Okay, but yeah, that's about right. It, it does random stuff like that. Although, didn't expect I, to see a bullet go flying out of a Hydra today. I was really hoping for the Mummy Lord. I was <laughs> just really a pyramid burst out of it. <laughs> just a whole fucking pyramid. Um, I think we solved the problem in the most disgusting way possible. You watch as the glitter, glitter of his scales just fades to pure blackness. Also, would the party give us a, a perception mode, please? Okay. Give me a minute. My mouse was fighting with me. All the party? Or just one? The entire party. 23. Okay. Net one! 24. 25. 24. Everyone, I is covered in goop. <laughs> everyone who, everyone but Suno, who is covered in blue, blue guts and blood, spots oh, that a hooded figure lurking in the in the tree line. For those who are there, you recognise one of the thugs that had been hired by that wizard, but one by, hired by that broker to sell that wizard's crap. However, you notice in an instant that this fog seems to have a, a, a shimmer to his skin, that there's scales there similar to that of the Hydra. He, he pulls out a scroll, throws it into the air, un, 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 unfolding it as he does, and he disappears, teleporting away. How far away was he? Too far to stop him. Too far. Okay. Uh, that's bad. Anybody know who that was? We did a job for a dude that got turned or looked like or made himself look like a parrot to get some crap, and he was one of the thugs that was going to kill him and screw us over for some valuable stuff that wasn't actually valuable. Didn't you send him to Astral Plane? Yes. And he's back. And I think he's the reason we had a Hydra. Well, it looked like a really special Hydra, though. I mean, would you find that kind of thing in a different Astral Plane? Yeah, we ran into... We ran into a dragon that looked much like that before. We yep. call the dragon magnificence because it kept saying you can't, you know, understand my magnificence. We needed a name for it. Oh. But the dragon was a bit more reasonable than that Hydra was. Kikwa kind of slowly brushes off some of the goo that she's covered in. Yeah, Frost is casting prestidigitation a lot. <laughs> to clean off goo. Yuki's running over to Sai and casting cure wounds on him. Bird puff and try to get goop off. Well, oh, prestidigitation, he's casting it on everybody. Oh, yeah. It just, it, it just takes a little while because it only cleans like a little bitty section at a time. I think it's a cantrip. Yep. Hey. Magpie is just... I guess once we clean up, we'll let the people know that the, the Alpha Predator's gone. Did the bolt survive? The bolt did not survive. Yep, looks like we have a problem then, don't we? Hmm. Anyone know how to build a raft? I'm still Womp. 
Anyone not half dead know how to build a raft. We're just gonna lie here for a minute. It's fine. Unfortunately, I've never had the need to. Wait, I have an idea. Yuki pulls out her lyre and she starts singing as loudly as possible. Yes. You continue to say this, you continue this for about five minutes. That's when you know you are surrounded by tiny, tiny humanoid frogs in numerous bright colors. There you guys are! We need your help! They're all pointing spears at you. Oh, you're not the nice ones. Oh, no. Shifrost casts calm emotions. They're now calmly, calmly pointing their spears at you. We, uh... that didn't... Sorry, go we got rid of the big scary thing. Uh, yeah, we, we, we got rid of your, your monster problem. You hear these small frogs just talking among themselves, nutting each other, pointing towards the slowly sinking hydra. Yeah, yeah, that one. One of them puts some uh, slimy fingers to the lips, whistles, and along comes a few more of the grung, and up comes some more grung on some uh, homemade rafts. Thank you. You you really are getting the feeling that is is um that one you out of the swamp. That, that's the where I want to be, be out the of my swamp. swamp. <laughs> Believe me, we don't want to sleep. We don't want to stick around. We just wanted to get rid of the uh, an intruder. Technically, you're welcome. Thank you kindly. And just as a show of goodwill, before we leave, I, I create food. I cast create food, basically. What type of food are you creating? It's, it's just kind of general, you know, like... It's just kind of general food that Grung would probably appreciate. They look at it, they poke at it. The leader of the group sample it. The leader then grabs, grabs the food, and then they run off. Leaving you all by yourself with the raft. Let's get out of here and let them know. Pi is heavily debating taking the head as like a trophy for the town. Make sure you get your dagger back. Oh yeah, yeah that's true. Um, where did that dagger land? Is it? It's still. It's buried it's not... in one of the necks right now. Kikwa just kind of searches around, hop, um. Look for the biggest look for the biggest smoke. She she makes a beeline for the smoke, like kind of slowly reaches out for the dagger when she's perched on the neck. Uh kind of testing, hesitating whether she should grab it if it's too hot. Smart move. <laughs> oh, I it's no longer hot. Okay, it she, would have she... cooled off because A, the spell I dropped the spell, and B, it's in the water. Okay, she she gent she gently just kind of fiddles with it, like wiggling it, and pulls it out. Actually, can she pull it out? Is it? Are, are, you... are we going to be semantic about that? <laughs> I'm going to say yes. You can get it out. Okie doke. <laughs> she grabs her dagger, go flap 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 back to the group. Also, you wiggle enough of that just causes the hydra to sink even quicker. Uh, the big blip, that... big blip, blip, blip of the what of the 
the released air just as it sinks. Pico ruffles her feathers, very clearly disgusted by the sound. Out of here. Uh. At least it's dead. Yeah, it's not gonna eat anyone anymore. And so we skip ahead. I imagine you're taking time to rest while at least someone just pushes the boat along, the raft along, until eventually mo morning comes, you're back at the settlement. So, uh, where are you head off first? I'm still alive. For a while. With a third trying day. We are giving the Cyrenol all the raw coffee in dry form possible. <laughs> he is just munching coffee beans. I've also created some good berries for him. Um. Magpie is letting them know we got rid of it. Yeah, that thing did not belong in the swamp. Basically, the good berries give you ten hit points back. Nom. You got a general consensus of a, of a job well done. But yeah, I'm pretty much taking your word. But you do look, look rather beaten up for the party. Mostly him. Mostly him. <laughs> yep. He yeah. He took its breath weapon to the face and lived. It would have been funny seeing Crandall take the death weapon. Would have been funny seeing Mongrel take it. What's his... Oh, God, where am I? <laughs> In the end, it's dead. You keep quick thinking with those beans. And Kiko, that was a brave move. He tried to rob that thing like a wild bull. I have a feeling that's not the first time I've uh, stabbed my dagger into something and rode it like a bull. Is it really I... a bastard small session if one of our bird people doesn't try to ride something like a mechanical bull? <laughs> no, no, it really isn't. Yeah. Yeah. It's gotta I mean, happen. To be fair, that dagger may have helped us out a lot, since it did cause that thing a lot more damage than it anticipated. Kikwa just does a big old shrug of like, yep, I guess so. Welcome to the team! Blink blonk. This feels familiar. I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> Ilya used to it! Oh boy, more memory messies. Oh boy. Just remember, Cervantes pins are the best ones to take. She, she nods, just goes, meeker, meeker, meeker. And, uh... Because if you think Shifros isn't going to encourage the kleptomania against the right people. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, you're going to send her to Snack's lab. Very possible. Okay, we've been running a bit long for this part of the session, so <laughs> I'm going to call it that for now. Okie doke. So, Carl, thank you for joining us. Oh. It was fun. <laughs> oh, this star so line you can join. I had join adopted her. You are and always welcome. Yep. Yeah. Oh, thank it's you. It's always a blessing I... to have you around. Yep. That was fun. I'm I'm glad I could be Gremlin Bird again. <laughs> <laughs> you can be Gremlin Bird anytime you want. By the way, out of character, we Magpie's room is full of stuff she's carved and made, so perfect for a klepto. That's why I said she's banned from her room. <laughs> if you find you know, your we, way... We you could your... have an entire section of just gremlin birds at this point. We yeah. could. We really, really could. 
<laughs> yep. <laughs> Cal, does uh, does your bird have the book? I would say she does. Yes. <laughs> I, I feel bad. We weren't able to address it this session. To be what? fair, we were kind of distracted by death monster. <laughs> what do you say, fair. the book? Do you mean the book, or is it a different the book? It's a book that exists that we've encountered before, but it's not an Okasan's book. Okay. But, uh, yeah, it's time to wrap this up. So, once again, thank you to Cal. Thank you to all my usual players. Thank you to the audience for watching this far, if you have so. If not, yeah. So, until next time, be good, be well, and beware creatures are probably being cut for the night. Bye. Later. Bye. Take care, everyone.